As the number of electric vehicles on the road continues to grow, the U.S. is still behind other countries in sales and in the number of public charging facilities. China leads the world in EV development and sales followed by Europe and then the U.S. And here at home, the Detroit Big Three are rolling out more new electric vehicles over the next several years. But whether it's about the cost of electricity or fear of running out of power on the road, some consumers do have concerns. Meantime, Governor Gretchen Whitmer made headlines this week at the Motor Bella Auto Show announcing she wants to lead the nation in developing technology to charge while driving. So tonight, 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner taking, taking us in depth with a look at what it would take to make that happen. Big announcement from here this week was from the governor. She wants on the road wireless technology to charge EVs on the road, but is it viable? I'm proud to announce here at Motorbella 2021 that Michigan is on track to deploy the first wireless charging on a public road in the country. This came days after the governor toured the new Ford F-150 Lightning electric truck plant in Dearborn, increasing production to meet demand. Governor was asked by automotive writers why the Motor City in Michigan lag behind other states with EV charging stations. Headquarters of the Big Three, you yeah. do not have chargers. I, well, you know, it's it's interesting because I, I do uh, know a lot of people who have electric vehicles. They've been able to navigate, but it's, it's not as uh, ubiquitous as it needs to be, and that's what our job is to do. It turns out this technology has been in development in other countries. Take a look at this video in New Zealand, a project with Qualcomm and 25 other partners. The vehicle pads pick up the magnetic field and convert it to DC power for the vehicle. While this video was posted four years ago, the technology is still in development. Indiana announced a partnership with a German startup and Purdue University in July but it's only to study it for now. We have budgeted and allocated about $478,000. That's what we anticipate um, our specific research project uh, will cost over the next couple of years. Michigan's Department of Transportation will issue a request for proposals next week. No cost has been established and no timetable and no specifics on what it will be here? Well, it's about seeing a problem and working to solve it and being the first to do it. It's too early um, to really speak to what the cost would be to deploy this across, you know, let's say 150, 200 miles of, of public highway. You know, our initial test will be looking at a quarter mile. So much smaller scale and again, heavily focused on viability. Viability includes on a major freeway with heavy traffic and heavy trucks and four seasons of weather, hot summers, cold winters with ice and snow. You know, we want to have that, that peace of mind and certainty about how this will, will perform on a public highway where we, we see all different types of conditions and all different types of vehicle uses. At Motorbella, EV cars are here for rides into the future. Because that's my big worry about if you get an electric car. I drive a lot, do I have to stop all the time and charge it? They call that range anxiety. Oh, is that it? <laughs> well, I have it. And while the governor is likely running for re-election next year, her last campaign cycle talked about fixing the damn roads. How does this fit in? It's a good question. You know, I guess it's going to take a little of both. As viability is being studied, we may not have any answers for a year or two down the road. In Pontiac, Jim Kurtzman. 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim. For a closer look at Governor Whitmer's plan to help Michigan achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, head to our website at WXYZ.com.